Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and thank you for watching this video. This video is about the question database and I'm gonna talk about this. I think it is super important that people who are doing the airline pilot training or pilot training or integrated pilot training, whatever you want to call it, know this. So if you're doing that, if you're a pilot and uh, you're having your HPL exams um, in the future or somewhere or you're planning on uh, doing them, then please keep watching because I want you to know this. I'm also already gonna say something in the beginning because I know that a lot of people will not agree with me, but I don't care. Okay, and this can sound really harsh, but this is what I have experienced and I am sure that it works like this. If you're um, becoming a pilot and if it was, was like five years ago or in the future five years or something like that and you are now having an airline job, you know exactly where I'm talking about. All the people who are maybe way older or having done not something like this or via another completely different route, then this video is not for you. Okay, this is what I've experienced and everyone around me confirms what I'm going to say. So, um, lately I've been asked by a few people about the uh, HPL question base, if you should use it or not. And for people who don't know what I'm talking about, during a flight training, you have lots of exams. And one of the most important exams is the HPL exam. It's an official exam and it's not a school exam. It basically gives you an exam about all the 14 subjects you have had. So let me grab a book. For example, this book, Navigation, that is a subject. And when I go to another book, let's grab something nice. This is also a subject. And as you can see, it's quite big. Right? Exactly, this is what I want to talk about. So, you have your school exams, your finals, they are called. And um, what I did was completely wrong. And to be honest, I don't know where to start this video, because I want to say like, just go do this. But I'm sure that I will lose a lot of people and they cannot follow me. So I'll just start with the beginning. Um, during your whole uh, few months that you have been studying all those 14 subjects, you're studying those books and really hard so by the time you have your school exams you know pretty much a lot of them like 80 percent 75 percent something like that you had a lot of those intermediate exams right so then your finals is actually a replica of the hpl exam but then done by your school nothing official just to show yourself and the school if you're ready for your ATPL exams and the minimum pass mark is 75%. What a lot of people do is that they just start studying the books and that is completely good. I really appreciate that but I mean good luck with your ATPL exams because you're probably not gonna pass them and not to make you worry or something but this is what's gonna happen if you don't follow or if you don't follow my method okay and it's not just my method because it sounds strange but if it's just anyone's method and anyone who has had who has a job right now knows what i'm talking about you can you can do two things right you can decide to start studying the database which is a hpl database and it is just fifteen thousand questions yes fifteen thousand questions and answers uh, regarding those subjects and these are the questions which are exactly the same as in your exam. Of course you won't get 15,000, but per subject you get a few of them. You can either decide to start studying the question database or you can start studying from your books. Like I showed you, like um, 14 times this size, okay? But you have two weeks. And in those two weeks you have to know everything because of course obviously you don't know everything yet from the beginning of your ground school right because you forget a lot of facts and um yeah what happened to me is that i studied books because that is the correct answer right that is exactly what you should not do because i did that i actually learned the hpl book which is human performance and limitations by heart i just knew everything I thought, huh? 
And then I entered the school final and my score was 66. 66%. I was like, what? That's way below the pass mark. And the ATPL exam was already within two weeks. And everyone else around me had 90, 93. Like, what? Seriously? And they told me that they were setting this the database. And at that point, it doesn't matter, you know? It doesn't matter how much you know, or what you know. Um, it, the only thing which matters is that you pass it. And good, because it depends on how quick you get the airline pilot job or the first officer right seat job. I just left this book in Hofdorp. I went home and and Hofdorp is, the, is where my school was. And I just only went studying the HPL question database. I forgot about the book because I thought I already knew that. And apparently 60% is not really the best score you can have, okay? And um, so I bought the HPL database and I started studying. Just questions, questions, questions. If I didn't know anything, looking into my notes, because I've had, of course, like a lot of notes. I had maybe the uh, same book, or, but then just notes. And uh, what I did is, if I didn't know answer on a question, I was looking, is that a fact? Because if it's a fact, you just have to study by heart. If it's a question about something you have to understand, then you just go, and you don't know it, then you just go back to your notes. And uh, you see what's in there, what you wrote about that subject. If you still don't cannot figure it out what the correct answer is, then just look it up on the internet. Just write it and there is the answer. Instead of grabbing your book, finding the correct page, re reading what's in there, probably don't understand it yet because otherwise you would have uh, had the correct answer in the first place. You don't have time for that. And that's what I did after my result of the final. And what did I have on my ATPL exam? Well, I did not touch any book anymore. 98%. One mistake. Can you believe it? 98% just with a database is completely different. I know if you're someone picky, then you're probably gonna say, oh, that's not correct, you should be studying. Yes, exactly. And we're gonna tell you what happened next, okay? So we were in the course with a lot of other people, like 24 people or something like that. And we entered the ATPL exam with the same thing. Flight schools telling us like, no, just study from the books, ATPL, phew, don't do that, okay? Then what happens? There were a few guys in our type rating, over here on type rating, I mean, there are a few guys in our course and they were amazing. They knew everything, like one single thing. If the teacher asked us a question like, hmm, do you, did you study that or did you know that? They knew everything. They Name it, they knew it. And they didn't study the question database. And what happens? And guess what? They all, all the guys, like four or five, they all didn't pass and not just on one subject no they didn't pass a lot of subjects like maybe they did pass three or something like that and why because you just have to study the ATPL question database and why is that well because there are a lot of questions and they're all very clear huh? the questions but the answers they are so similar that you have to choose between the most correct answer they are so similar that you can easily make a mistake. And when you're on a time pressure, you don't have time for, for five minutes to figure out which answer is just a little bit better than the other one. Uh, and of course, and it doesn't count for all the questions, but in general, a lot of questions are like that. Not even talking about um, like all the calculations you have to make. For example, like you have some subjects where you just have to calculate like a lot of stuff. And uh, if you haven't practiced that, I mean, I'm gonna wish you like the best of luck because um, you don't want to reinvent the wheel at the exam, okay? You don't have time for that, you don't want all that stress because all of this is gonna make you pass. What a lot of people forget is that this is just the most important exam. Airlines, they just have so many people around there. They just take the ones with the best score, okay? So if you have 93 average, and your colleague has 94, your colleague is gonna be first. That's just how it is. You just don't wanna um, say like, you know what, I'm not gonna practice the APL question database because I think you should study. Because what happens then is that you don't get the job or you will get the job maybe eventually, but you'll get it like after four or five years when everyone has already gone before you. I know it's just, it sounds re really strange, but this is how it is. Just study the APL question database and you'll be fine. If you want to know like the correct answers 
then, then just do it once. You know, you will pass. If you want to have like a really high score, just do it three times, the whole question database. So three times 15,000. I know it's a lot, but then you're completely sure that you're going to have within 90 uh, percent just to get you invited for any airline okay they don't want to see retakes they don't want to see below 75 or near 75 they want to have 90s another thing this will only be good for your atpl exam okay but immediately after that you have to realize that you're not done right now that you really have to maintain all that knowledge and to really keep studying because it doesn't matter how good your scores are. In the end, they will also ask you questions about that. You know, it will get you invited, those amazing scores, but it doesn't automatically mean that you will get the job. They will ask you technical questions. They'll ask you questions about certain things. They will ask you most of the time a question about the subject where you are not um, the best in. Just make sure that you always keep your HPL knowledge up to a good level. Um, it's super important and it's also very important for yourself because you that information you'll need it one day in the air and you don't want to end up there okay so just make sure you know everything or at least a lot of things. I also wrote another article about this on DutchPilot.com so please check it out if you want to know more about it and um, yeah, that's what I have to say so knowledge is important very important but just not in those two weeks before your ATPL exam, all right? I have a lot of those questions, so just let me know. I'll send you those documents and um, keep practicing on that. I wish you the best of luck with your ATPL exams. If you have them sometime, at least you know what to do. Don't make the same mistake as I did. Don't make the same mistake as the other five guys, because the other five guys, they were thrown out. That's basically what I have to say. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you have other suggestions for other videos just let me know and i hope to see you next time bye guys <laughs>